So welcome back and as you saw in the time lapse I did the terrain in front of the building over here. I quite like it. I think I managed to capture the like saturation that like the smoke tower or whatever I guess you could say the soot that came out of this little factory building here when they were processing coal and it's come down and it's all settled along here and it's settled inside the water and then you got a little bit of dirt spots that are coming through and maybe greenery will be added. I thought about it, but I'm not exactly 100% sure if I want to add greenery or not. Well, we'll come to that at some point, but obviously there's a lot more work to do when it comes to the terrain around here. I still need to make this look like it's merging and smoothly transitions from this straight line to the stone all the way around. And I still need to do the base around the uh, building itself. I did finish the interior though. I just still haven't replaced the cobblestone because I can't afford to do it. I only managed to do these blocks here. So that's all I got done. This episode, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do. I already started exploring the nether. Uh, I set up the portal, went to a fortress. I got some blaze rods, made a uh, brewing stand and I started, was going to make fire resistance potions so I can go back and get more and then realize that I don't have any nether warts. So I went back to get nether warts and the damn fortress that I had found doesn't have nether warts. So I explored around and then found it myself a bastion and then was going to go into it and I just kind of got scared a little bit. I'm like, I'm going to die to these brutes. I got hit by one of them, by a uh, one of the uh, arrow boys, but I just kind of tunnel ratted in through the, the side and looted the very top chest and I got some pretty decent lift out of that. But overall, it wasn't bad. Just the fortress sucked. Like it, it, was gar it has two blaze spawners literally side by side. They're like, I think there's a one block, one or two block difference between the blaze spawner and the other blaze spawner. I could just, it'll just be easier if I show you. So as you can clearly see, there isn't actually any block separation. Both the blaze spawners are literally touching each other. The spawn sections are touching each other and it's like, it couldn't be any more of a perfect setup for making a blaze farm. Like it's 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 perfectly connected together. They're at the exact same heights. So you don't have to do any weird nonsense with the with the structure. It would be better if there was more nearby, but it's it's still good nonetheless. And you know, a, I don't know much about building blaze spawners, but you know, I'm terrified of blazes. They hurt. If I know anything from last season, uh, yeah, they they hurt. I've done a lot of stuff so far and just like off camera stuff or on camera. I just never put it in a video because, you know, I just didn't deem it worthy of the video or I just it's like I got to get this done. So today, I think I want to focus more on detailing up this area and readjusting how this looks. So the farm, the animal pen, the villager and uh, and the portal. So I want to make this whole general area fit a lot more into the uh scheme or the theme that i'm going for and maybe if there's time we'll work on the terrain as well and fit it together and make it so it's not so flat rough and stony give it the little texture details and maybe some alterations in the level of height itself so it's not 100 percent flat but i will need to figure that out and i you know yeah yeah i don't know what to do okay so i have a plan i've made a building and i've designed it and i am ready to build it i have all the materials gathered up somewhere in one of my chests over there and it's time that we actually build so another time lapse Well, there you have it. Uh, the build is done. Um, it's well done, done hypothetically. It's not like 100% done, obviously. There's still stuff that needs to be done, such as the floor in here. This wall is just a giant gaping hole. It's like some meteor came in. This like piece of dirt, uh, uh, tuff came in. This meteorite and struck through my building and destroyed it. It's supposed to look like a uh, cliff, rocky cliff in here. I just, I didn't have any stone when I was building, so I didn't do that. There's supposed to be crafters here and a bunch of like redstone that makes these lamps like turn on in like a some sort of area it's just it, it's some detail on the side of the building that you'll never see because it's on the side of the building uh, this is where i want to house all my villagers so these 
wonderful things. Uh, they're going to be housed in the back here and uh, there's going to be some sort of a research facility. It's not the only thing I want to do here. There's also going to be a giant factory building built over here where the portal is because there's I have some lore to go with it. For this research company found this portal here. He's giving a flower to the villagers. Uh, anyway, they found this portal in an old abandoned mine shaft, right? It was in an old abandoned mine facility and they found it. So now they are researching it because, you know, you would research stuff like this anyway. So the old building, there'll be an old factory that I'll build here and then it'll have some modern, I guess, infrastructure added onto it. Kind of looks like the infrastructure was kind of just plopped onto the factory to make it look like they just came in and threw down all their equipment and started to research it. That's the plan. So I still have to build and well, design the entirety of this structure here. So I haven't done that. That won't be this episode. I don't know when I'll do that, but we'll figure it out. Um, that's why the wheat field is still here and this wall is pretty much blank because I'm not sure how I'm going to integrate this building into the big building here. I guess the next step for me is just to straight up move the villagers into the the, the section down there. So I'm going to do that real quick. Haha, <laughs> I lied. We're going to do the floor first because the floor is kind of important. Okay, so the floor has been done and the villagers have been moved into here. They actually weren't a pain in my ass, but you know, they, they, they're still annoying, but they, they did their thing. You know, this, this harn, huffing and harn. Yeah, yeah, you guys you shut up. For the most part, I would say this build is done. Um, There's a little bit of like detailing around, like tweaking and stuff that I need to just do around that I don't think is worthy of putting in the video and stuff. Like I got to do some terraforming just around the backside there so that the hill is integrated better into the build itself. And I also have to fix that inside uh, piece because uh, yeah, I didn't do it. <laughs> so if you like the building, let me know down below. Maybe if there's something I could uh, possibly do to the building that would make it better. Also, let me know. Uh, why do I have a poppy? I don't know. Uh, I think that'll do it for this episode though. So if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.